Yo, what's up, Gunzo? How we doing? Well, let me make sure. Okay, my microphone's turned off over there. I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. I know I should have probably verified that before I went live, but, you know, whatever. We're ready to go. That's all that matters. Okay, let me get a little bit of water, and then, and then we'll start. Let everybody get in here. I'll even, I'll even make this little switch so y'all can see what we're working with today. There you go. Now you guys can see what we're going to be working on today. I'm going to get some water. what's up what kind of frames you get with this build on cod uh, with a 12 600 k and a 3060 ti uh, at 1080p you're probably looking at mm, 140 ish 130 ish uh, depending on your settings at 1440p uh, you're probably going to be like around 100 in warzone let's go verify schmerify yeah we're not verified Mark, how we doing? It's good to see you. Okay. Okay. Ready to go. Um, let's talk through what we're building today. We've got a 12600KF from Intel, one terabyte SSD from Mushkin. We've got these CL36000 G Skill Rip Jaws, uh, Z790 UDAX. This was originally going to be a Z690 board, but the one that I had selected went out of stock right after the customer bought their PC. And so. Uh, we got them like a mild upgrade for free. I mean, they didn't pay any difference. So upgraded that. Um, we've got this CL, CLC 360. So 360 millimeter AIO from EVGA. It's a little bit older, but it should still be in great working order. So we're going to throw that in there. We've got a little, little LGA 1700 kit because that's how old this thing is. It's been sitting around for a while. And we've got our 3060 Ti over here from MSI. 750 watt power supply and a Fantex G300A, which is their like smallest form factor ATX build or ATX case. Yo, Noble, what are we doing? How's it going? Bees Riot, here's your build. Get bees in here and buy a freaking PC. All right, let's get started though. Let's just let's just get into it. I really want to play some games today, so I want to get this thing done. I see the parts, but it looks like a bunch of upside down puzzle pieces to you. Well, that's that's fair. That's why you come to me, right? That's why you come to me. Mmm, smell of fresh electronics. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Would, would Beats even get a notification from tagging her like that? I don't feel like Kick works that way. Lewis Hawkins, let's get it. Tell us how you started. Hey, what? How we doing, Lewis? Tell us how I started? What do you mean, how I started? Can you be just a little bit more specific on that? Then I would be happy to. <clears throat> soon definitely happening before christmas love to hear that energy gunzo love it keep telling her you can build her a 4k system for way less oh yeah than a lot of these other companies for sure for sure with building computers how did i get started building computers well one day uh it was summer of 2020 i convinced my wife to let me build myself a computer because i was Gaming on an Xbox, like whatever the previous generation Xbox that I had had since like 2017. So I was gaming on that and streaming from an HP Pavilion laptop. I'm talking 
base clock speed of 1.9 gigahertz was constantly like had U USB stuff dropping because it couldn't provide enough power to the, the different things. Like I could have, the only things I could have running were OBS and Discord. Um, whew, I'll do that because Discord was not, you couldn't you, uh, access Discord on console back then. What the heck? Did you, did you come out of there, please? Thank you. Um, and that was literally it. Anything more in my computer, like my streams would crash and stuff. So I built my computer in August of 2020, my very first computer. And I was like, wow, that was, okay, it was kind of stressful the first time around, but I was like, wow, that was actually really fun. I want to keep doing this. So I found ways to do it. Like I, I found, this was kind of right as the GPU shortage was starting. And I found a guy selling a 2070 Super, which was like a slight upgrade from what I had at the time. And so I was like, okay, I'll buy this 2070 Super. And it came with like a case and a power supply. So I took the 2070 Super, put it in my computer, and then like scrounged on Facebook Marketplace and stuff for all of the other components to finish that build and um, built it and then basically like sold it at cost, like at what it cost me. Um, and so I basically got a free upgrade from a 2060 Super to a 2070 Super. And then from there, I just kept trying to do it. Like I, you know, I told some friends about it and, you know, obviously I didn't charge very much money and just started, just kind of kept, kept going and kept going. And uh, eventually, you know, I'm just like, you know what, I should, you know, make this like a legit thing. And, you know, the next year, I like formed my LLC and uh, really started, you know, we're trying to pursue getting more builds in earnest. And I've just been doing that ever since. I started from the bottom, now he's here. I'm not at the top, but I'm somewhere, somewhere further than where I started, that's for sure. Starting to get war the Warzone itch again, thinking about having trapped to another PC slash game optimization. Yeah, buddy. How long ago did you have your last, did you have it optimized, Wes? No experience before that. Um, I went to, I mean, I've always been like pretty handy. I've worked on cars and stuff my whole life, um, but not really anything electronics related necessarily. Uh, my background is in mechanical engineering. So I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Been doing that since, well, it's been doing that full time since uh, 2015. So it's been a little while and yeah. So, you know, I have some, some decent knowledge that's somewhat relevant. I mean, more of just like critical thinking, having a good eye for, for quality. Um, I've got a kind of an entrepreneurial mindset. So like all of those things kind of helped, but like, yeah, no direct experience with building computers or anything like that. It's been over a year. Yeah, it could be time. I mean, maybe wait for the new COD to come out and then work on it. I don't know. It might not matter too much. He might not change much between now and then, but. Okay, the other thing, so this is a slightly older uh, CPU cooler that we're using. So I, I did actually have to get a um, LGA 1700 kit for it. And I believe it's the right one. It's supposed to be an Asetek one. So it should work. I guess we'll find out. It looks right. That looks like the Asetek one. Okay. It said it was the right one, but you never know with like Amazon and stuff. Wait until Warzone 3 and go from there. Case graphics setting change a lot. Yeah. All right. Stick this on here. Okay, 
that is on there now. Oh, well, the one is kind of not on there. There we go. Okay. That looks good. Now we can get these standoffs in there. Has it been lucrative? Oh, I've still got a nine to five for sure. Um, I mean, it's been like somewhat lucrative. Um, I mean, early on though, like pretty much everything that I've been making, I invest back into the business at this point, like trying to grow, like, you know, getting a, a good website and like getting content, like edited content stuff done. Cause I just don't have the time to do it and do it well. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Like definitely done a lot of reinvesting into the business. Hey, Jatana, thank you so much for the share. Okay, so we got those in there. Um, motherboard is basically ready to go. We've got our RAM, uh, <laughs> got our RAM, got our CPU, got our SSD, all that stuff's in there. Now we just gotta grab that. Now we just gotta grab that uh, power supply. Uh, thermal paste, the thermal paste comes pre-applied on the CPU cooler. Um, and I don't wanna put it on until we're ready to mount the CPU cooler block anyways. So we are not gonna do that just yet. So this, uh, I'm just gonna get the side panels off of here. But yeah, I mean, it will need thermal paste, but it comes pre-applied. And I'll take a look at the, because the CPU cooler has been setting for a little while, I mean, I'll take a look and make sure that the, the thermal paste still, still looks good. If not, we can kind of, we can wipe it off and, and replace it. Got plenty, plenty sitting around here in our, in my little desk. But I did give, I did give the customer a pretty significant discount on this CPU cooler because it, like, it's not even for sale anymore. Like, it still works perfectly fine. Like, it's still a, a great CPU cooler, but you know, it's just a little bit older. This is a pretty budget computer, so I was like, you know, let's get them something nicer for less money because I want to get it out of my office. All right. So, why is that stuck? Why is that in there? Okay. All right, let's just make sure this thing is set up for an ATX motherboard. It is. Some of these smaller cases tend to be set up for a, a micro ATX motherboard off the rip. Okay. <clears throat> So, yep, we're gonna have to remove these front fans. We'll have to stick them on the top and the back, and then we will put our CPU cooler up front because it is a 360 millimeter AIO. Uh, the top does not support that big of a radiator. So, let's get to work. Yo, what's up, RK? How you doing? So, uh, RK, you'll you'll find this interesting at least. So, I was like, I want to see what difference it makes in some benchmarks and stuff with um, some like lower end RAM and some higher end RAM. So, I took like a really old, like one of the first kits that was released for DDR5. It's a CL40. 5200 megahertz kit from team group and put it in you know it did the the xmp for it and then did some like cpu tests gpu tests and then a couple of in-game benchmarks and then compared that to a cl30 6000 kit and then compared both of those to a cl32 6400 kit and they're basically almost all exactly the same. There's almost no discernible difference in like when they're not tuned at all. Now, I'll, I'm sure there will be a difference if um, if I can get do some testing with like those nicer RAM kits like tuned to have like higher speeds and stuff. But I was kind of surprised to see that there was basically no difference. How long does it take you to fulfill an order normally? Uh, from the time of order, like from the time of payment until I ship it out my door is usually between two to three weeks. 
sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's uh, like coming up right on the three weeks, but it's almost never longer than that unless it's super, super custom, like, like a fully water-cooled build or something like that, you know? Installing DaVinci Resolve. Ooh, I like I like using DaVinci Resolve. If I do when I when I do like little bits of editing here and there for myself, that's what I use. Yeah, so I basically like spent the first like couple of minutes explaining, you know, what RAM is, what it does, you know, what latent, what like the cast latency and speed and stuff mean. And basically was like, oh, why would you, why wouldn't you just get the good stuff? You know, because you're gonna have better performance. And then I ended up with egg on my face because there was no, <laughs> there's like almost no discernible difference in performance. So it's like, well, okay, never mind. Don't listen to me. Maybe just buy whatever you want. I don't know. I'm sure if I found a cheap enough kit of RAM that's like CL46. Like CL46, 4800 megahertz or something like that. Like there would be a noticeable difference, but yeah, it was literally like the difference between the 5200 megahertz and the 6400 megahertz was literally maybe 4%, maybe 5%. I think I already know the answer, but what's the coolest build you've ever done? The coolest build I've ever done Okay, so if you're going off of like the custom paintwork stuff, like the biohazard PC that I recently posted about is probably the coolest. Um, but the white water cooled build I posted a couple of pictures of recently is probably one of the coolest too. I don't know, it's hard to choose between those two. They're very different, but I don't know. Okay, let's get this motherboard installed. I mean, the all AMD one, like the all AMD water cooled one is really cool too. It's a lot more my style, like, like black and red and very subtle RGB, nothing crazy. That one felt cross threaded. There we go. <clears throat> I thought you would say the one you did for stone. I mean, that was the coolest experience. For sure. I mean, getting to go meet Stone. It wasn't the coolest build itself. Sorry, I was going directly off of just like the build itself, like the computer final product. But experience wise, no, you're right. The experience wise, getting to meet Stone, like that was insane. Yeah, I can do that to us. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of it's gonna be an interesting result. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna post the video. Like I spent all the time edit or uh, filming it. I'm definitely gonna post it, but it's gonna be like, a, well, this didn't go the way I thought it would. I retract my former statements. I guess I don't know. I mean, I would still say it makes sense to buy the nicer, like the the better stuff, especially if you ever intend to have your PC optimized and tuned, because, um, you know, if you buy the good stuff, like someone can actually tune that speed and tune those timings down, right? But the crappy stuff, not so much. <clears throat> okay, got that motherboard installed. Let's bring this back up. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't have brought that back up yet. Stop! Go back down! I'm gonna put the, the case fans back on.
there are some programs slash games that will utilize the faster RAM and it will make a difference, but some things don't matter, yeah. I know, I wish I would have, <clears throat> I wish I would have known like what those were so I can make it look better, but you know, whatever. But it's a more, it's a more honest result of like, well, if you're just doing this or that, I've heard it can make a significant difference or a decent difference with like editing and stuff too, but. Yeah, it was kind of kind of interesting to see. I'm definitely going to test it out again with like some other PCs just to see what happens. This was a 12th gen Intel with like a 4060 Ti. Like maybe if I have like a nicer build, I can try it too. I don't know. <clears throat> Got the rear fan installed. This this build is probably going to look just a little funny because these case fans are the only RGB fans. The top fans or the front fans that come with the CPU cooler are not. So there will be RGB on the top and the back, but not in the front. But whatever. It's a, it's a budget build. I tried to get him as much performance for as little cost as possible. And that's just kind of... Kind of the way it went, you know? We're a little bit quiet today, huh? <clears throat> a little bit quiet out there. It's been a long, long Wednesday for everybody. That's tight. It's not a lot of space. Might not be enough space, I think. Maybe we're gonna route this over there. That RGB connector doesn't wanna fit through here. Caked NGL, what's up? You double caked up, double cheeked up on a Monday? Sorry, when I think caked now, I just think of people talking about Butt cheeks, I don't know. Sorry. Can't help it. <clears throat> Benzer, how you doing? Clean? Yeah. It's gonna be a nice little build. Oh, you guys, you guys totally let me do this to you. I've been on the wrong freaking scene this whole time. Well, not the whole time, but since I started putting these fans in and out. Killing me. Can't believe you let me do that. Do well, sir. I've been seeing your builds and your name getting out there. Hey, love to hear that. Sir, we're trying to do it. Trying to make the moves. Might have to upgrade your streaming PC. Hey, that sounds like a great idea. What do you have in it currently? How you been? I've been good, Caked. How are you? <clears throat> okay. All the case fans are installed. Um, let's get our front panel stuff connected in. Or actually, you know what? This is a good time. This is a good time to get Susan out here. Okay. It's a great, great time to get Susan out here. You might be asking yourself, who's Susan? And how can I still hear him? Well, 
I can answer the second one. It's because I've got the microphone on my shirt. So no, no matter where I go, you can hear me. And this, this is Susan. Susan is my 20 something inch, four inch lazy Susan and a custom wooden top, AKA a stool top that I painted so that I can do this. Pretty cool, right? Ninth Gen i7 with a 2070. Yeah, it is getting a little old. <clears throat> you have great elbows. Pretty nice, huh? They're actually uh, not too dry now. They're not too dry right now, which is unusual. I feel like they're usually always uh, pretty rough. Thanks, babe. Okay, let's get our HD audio connected in here first. In, didn't look like it was all the way in, but it feels like it's all the way in. That's what she said, okay. Uh, we're gonna get our USB three in here, which is up there on the side. Go right there. All right, that's in there too. How are you not famous in PC building? I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I've only been doing it <clears throat> for like three years and you know, it took it took a while to really kind of build up my client clientele and my my reputation in the, the PC building world. Um, three, four, okay. For some reason, this connector thing looks, this header looks really weird, so. Try to make sure I was putting it in the right place, even though I knew it was supposed to be the right place. I wasn't convinced it was the right place. You guys, I don't even have my lights on. What am I doing with my life today? Look at this, look how much better you'll be able to see everything. <laughs> oh boy. It's been a week, it's been a week. <clears throat> now I'm not in the dark. What's my go-to Paste formation. Benzer, I like to be precise, so I typically will pre-spread it. So I just put a bunch on there, spread it all out, and get it, uh, just get the layer done, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, so we've got these three fans. This one over here? Oh, that must be the one from the front. Okay, so let's see what we got for chassis fan headers. Oh, we have two over here, okay. So we're gonna use one of those. Like that. Yeah, I like to just free, uh, free do it, you know? Got another chassis fan header. Right here. Right here, 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 here. Okay that one and we actually have the rear fan header is right there so let's do that too moonshine on stream is a true redneck build yeah you gotta that's you gotta build fast otherwise you get shammered you know <laughs> it's funny i'm either drinking like water out of my mason jar or like Mio, and so people either think it's Moonshine or they think it's P, because the Mio is like orangish. I have such good quality videos. Oh, thank you. I try really hard to make sure that like the streams and everything are super high quality so that, um, yeah, people will enjoy it. Okay. Oh, there was an RGB extension. I was like, None of those look correct. But this does. Okay. All right. So we got to daisy chain these guys together. I think we need to go the other way. Yeah, I think we want to go the other way. No? Maybe. 
Yes? No. Yes? Yes. Yes. Let's do that. I think we got it. I think we're good. So we do that. And then that. That's... That's all three of them. They're good. Okay. So... I think we're good to zip tie these over here. We need to cut it later. I guess that's fine. Can you put moonshine in the cooling system? Mm, it probably would eat away at some of the, the rubber linings or whatever they use for, for the lining. So I don't think you could. Can I do more of these? I do any, any, almost any PC that you see getting built by me is done live on stream. So if you make sure you're subscribed to the channel, uh, on YouTube, uh, Facebook, or Kick, then you will see, you will get to see these. All right, let's get our RGB connector in here. Okay, that is in. Okay, we're ready to we're ready to work on our CPU cooler. Let's get it out here. That's water shine. Yeah, it's just it's totally just water, Gunzo. Totally just water. When do I do these? Uh, after work. So usually between, I usually start between three and 4 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. And yeah, builds take anywhere from an hour to two hours. And then most days you'll find me playing some video games afterwards. I don't usually, I don't typically stream the video games on YouTube at all, uh, just because I try and keep the YouTube strictly about PC building. Um, but yeah. So yeah, around this time, usually a little bit earlier than what time it is right now to get started. And then I'll be usually be done in less than two hours from when I start. There. Okay. So, need those thumb screws there. And we need, I don't think we need any of these other bolts. So EVGA is so nice of it's so nice of them to do this. They pre pre-attach the, the fans to this. The only problem is they're attached the wrong way. I mean, normally they would be a that would be the right way, but for this setup here, they're attached the wrong way. So we are going to have to flip them around, attach them to the front, but we're gonna have to bolt through this through. We're gonna have to bolt through this, through the fan, and into the radiator in order to make it work properly. Um, also, that thermal paste looks pretty decent still, so we're gonna use it. Joshua Morgan Kane, how you doing, my friend? It's good to see you. All right, so we're just gonna take all these out, get the radiator situated inside, and then we'll start bolting them back in, facing the proper direction. We could even use some nicer fans, but these ones will work. This is kind of an oversized cooler for this CPU anyways, so I don't think we'll have any problems with thermals.
Let's drink a little more water here. Thirsty. How much FPS on Warzone do I think this can do? Uh, I would think at 1080p, you can probably push like 130-ish. Um, at 1440, I think you'd be lucky to break 100. <clears throat> um, just because Warzone 2 is so terribly optimized for, for FPS. Okay. So, I'm gonna do the top one first, like this. This is where it gets fun. Oh my gosh. Can I get this in here like that? No, I need to go in through the bottom, or the top. Through the bottom. Like that. What's up, Patrick, how we doing? And you love watching the PC builds and build PCs? Hey. I love to hear that, man. I enjoy doing it, so I'm glad y'all enjoy watching it. It's much, uh, much more relaxing than playing Call of Duty, eh? that's for sure. Okay, got that one in there. Gonna just get it started. Like that. Let's see if we can get the next one in here. Oh, yeah, over there. Okay, those are both in. The great budget build, pretty cool PC, GG's. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of cool to have like this this low of a budget even have, um, like it has like DDR5 RAM. It's got an AIO, which is like severely discounted because I just wanted to get it out of my inventory. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually was thinking about making an even like lower budget build to put on my site um, with like the current pricing. Like I can, we can get one, like we can get like a decent, uh, a decent gaming PC with like a 4060 in it for like 1200 bucks or like 1100 bucks. I'm like, man, that just sounds like a good idea. Is that a Linus Tech Tips screwdriver? It is, Doc. Linus Tech Tips. LTTstore.com. Not affiliated with them. But I do really like their content, and their screwdriver is pretty awesome. What, Gunzo? Good. Can't wait for someday when Siebes gets a new rig. Hopefully, he has you build it for him. Yeah. He's been on that rig for, like, as long as I've known him. Like, the rig that he's on with the 2070 super in it. I've known him for a while. Okay. Got those both in there. See if we can line these up. Get them started. Let me Uber my life away this and next week then. <laughs> Why? So you can buy, so you can afford a PC? Uh, just wondering why it doesn't say PC giveaway. Um, wait, where do you see PC giveaway? I don't know if there's anything on YouTube that says PC giveaway. Um, I am trying to, we are like going to be doing a PC giveaway once we hit um, a certain sub count. We will we will be giving away the 2K water cooled PC. Um, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. But I don't think there's anything on YouTube talking about a giveaway. Wish I could get a custom PC built by you. Yeah, the postage. It's yeah. It would end. It ends up costing like. Two to three hundred and something dollars in shipping versus like a hundred ish to get to the UK. And then the hard, the bad part really isn't the shipping, it's the taxes. Taxes, like VAT to get to import into the UK is like 20%. It's crazy.
on the designs are they engraved in the glass uh most most of like the stuff that i do on the glass is engraved on the glass um and then like i have i have little like peel peel off like stickers the little re stickers that you'll see on some of them like those are those are just like a sticker that i have um but anything that you see that's like custom for the like the cu like customer specific sort of designs, those are in fact um, laser engraved typically. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is going to go just like that. <clears throat> but first, we need to get our thumb screws out here. need either of those. We will need this. All right, let's, let's get this baby bolted in. Trying to do it by hand, but I guess I'll do it with my screwdriver. Okay, got it started. I've been watching LTT since I began researching gaming PC stuff and that screwdriver has pushed so hard on their videos. Yeah, dude, they spent so much, like, honestly, they talked about the screwdriver for like two years before they finally released it. It was a long, long time. Lol at the PC building simulator too. I know I can't do a just chatting stream on Facebook because I'm not a partner. So this is the only option that I have. I met Steve's in 2021. Started watching him and Doc play Ark and I jumped in with them because I thought they were pretty chill. The rest is history. Yeah, dude. They're good dudes. I need to hang out with Doc soon. Even if it's just like me and him go get some breakfast or something because he he lives like just down the road from me i mean like like 25 30 minutes away but like not that far from me what's up mark larry how you doing how you doing it's good to see you two motherboard yes i know i don't want the stupid sticker on it that oh my gosh Seriously? There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, so this little connector here is gonna go to the CPU optional port, which is the pump, the AIO pump. Okay. And then these connect to the fans. Oh wait, no. Oh, this runs the fans. Okay, so that goes to the CPU fan port then. And then this is gonna connect from the big CPU cooler block down to one of the USB ports. So this guy goes right down here on the bottom. This direction, like that. And then I'm gonna have to route it to the back and all the way down to the USB 2.0 port. that to the back too if we can. There we go. Okay. okay. 
that out of the way. That's cool. I would love to see Doc or Steve's in person. I told them one of these days we'll plan something. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've hung out with Doc a few times before I moved out here. But his stupid butt. If Steve was still in PA, he'd be much closer. But his stupid butt have to move. He moved to Missouri? Really? I didn't know that. I haven't really kept up with him lately, but I did not realize he moved over there. Hmm. Let's see how long, how long are these cables? You gonna reach all the way over there? Okay, so they do kind of reach all the way over there. Just a little, so the gap back here is not big enough for these connectors to fit through. So my options are to go through the front I think it would look kind of funky. I'm not, I don't think it would look very good. Or I can go back here to this back opening and then actually, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be long enough to do that. So I think we do need to go through this front. So. I think we can make this look okay. I think we can do this, and then we'll kind of disguise it with uh, this main connector. We'll maybe go through the top. And we'll kind of hide this up here. It'll be, that won't be too bad. I am gonna move it behind this USB 2.0 connector though. That'll look a lot better. Okay, that doesn't look so bad. Well, get these fans installed here. This. That guy. I don't know if all three of these will reach if they try and go up this way, but we can try. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That'll look nice and sleek. So now we just have to kind of tie this down like that. Okay, there we go. Now we can kind of just uh, Hold that down like that. Okay, let's get this USB connector tightened in or tied down and connected. Yo, what's up, Eddie? How we doing? Good to see you. Okay, got a USB connector right over here, or header, I guess, right over here. This still, it almost has enough length to kind of go over to the side, but not quite. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, let's get some power cables installed. Build is going good, Rex. How are you? How do you max the graphics on your PC? Like, how do you get the most out of your graphics or like your graphics settings? Like your in-game settings? I'm not sure I understand the question.
Okay. Let's see what we got here. So this is a semi-modular power supply, which means some of the connectors are like permanently attached to the power supply and some of them are not. So we'll have to see which ones are. Uh, just normally not in game. Um, I mean, really, your graphics not in game is just kind of based on the resolution of your monitor. So, I mean, just setting them to match your monitor and then make sure in display settings that your monitor is set to the highest FPS available. That's really all you can do for not in game stuff. Okay, so we've got CPU and motherboard on here. Okay. We don't need SATA, so we really just need one GPU connector and we're good to go. Um, that's interesting that that's red. Didn't think it was gonna be red on both sides, but uh, all right. I guess that's fine. Interesting choice, thermal take. Interesting choice. Got that connected in. We're gonna connect, put this into the case and then we'll start plugging in some power. No, dude, you're, you're perfectly, perfectly fine. A lot of people come in and ask uh, PC questions and stuff while they're, while they're watching, so don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. That is installed. Let's get our CPU power up here. Hopefully there's enough space for it with all the other connectors that are in here now. Nope. No, it is. There it is. I'm just gonna move stuff around to make sure it works. There we go. Seated? I think it is. Cool. What's the difference in a 3900K versus the KF? Uh, the F in Intel CPUs stands for no integrated graphics. So the F model means if you plugged in an HDMI or display port here to the motherboard, you would not get any output. There was, there's no abil ability for the CPU alone to output video. You have to have a discrete graphics card. 
if you have the, just the K model, you can get output from here as well as from your graphics card. If you're gaming or anything, don't use these, always use the actual GPU. Yep, Tertizzle's on it. Tertizzle knows. He knows things. You try. No enough to be dangerous, right? Okay. Got that fully installed and ready to go. We're gonna mount. Ernesto, how we doing? Can I get this through here, maybe? Maybe? Please, I really want to. Gotta figure out how to make money off this. I really want to. That sound bite just like forever lives in my head, man. Oh, yeah. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. There we go. This guy. Just gonna kinda pull it down there like this. Like that. Now it's not so obvious, right? Okay. That's right, you know your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nesto, how are we doing today? Okay, so really the only thing we have left to like plug in is our GPU. Let's get some more cable management done before we do that. Before we do that, okay. All right. Sorry, this thing keeps rotating on me. I was trying to show you guys what I was doing, but it just rotates without, without me trying to. Can you turn it on when I'm done? I will. I will 100% turn it on when I'm done. It won't have, I mean, it's not gonna have windows or anything, and it's not gonna be connected to anything, so you'll just get to see the lights and stuff, but um, I 100% will turn it on when we're done. Okay, let's get the, uh, Let's get the GPU in there, figure out where we're gonna route the GPU cable because it's, uh, it's a little short, okay? It's a little dinky. Buffy the Booty Slayer and Holmes Honsheim Nyoma coming in with the follows on Facebook. Appreciate that. The new office treat me well, dude. So well. I 
am so, so happy with this new office space and the fact that I have a ton of space. Like 500 square feet doesn't really sound like a lot, but coming from having 100 square feet, it's a lot. It's Jeremy Buffkin. <laughs> nice. Well, I appreciate you stopping it, man. <laughs> it's a great name. Honestly, it's a great name. Okay. Cute little 3060 Ti. Been seeing me everywhere. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. Get that exposure, like not the weird naked kind of way, just the regular kind. Internet exposure. Okay, come on. Uh oh. Okay, these are in the way. Wondering why I did what did I call myself the redneck engineer? Well, back in the day, like when I was first getting ready to go into college, um, me and some of my buddies started like, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a clan because we didn't, you know, it wasn't super official, but we all had, we all kind of started like our, um, our gamer tags as like a clan. So we were all redneck something so there was like redneck assassin there was redneck um redneck bigfoot redneck mechanic um and then i was going getting ready to go into school for engineering so i chose redneck engineer and i've had it ever since that was like 2009 2010. okay gpu is installed um oh it actually calls for two. I didn't realize it needed two connectors. Let me fix that real quick. Hopefully we can find the port on the motherboard or on the power supply without taking it out. Yo, what's up, jump shots? How we doing? Got it. Okay. These PCIe cables are not overly long. So I'm wondering if you can just kind of come in from the side over here. Yeah, it's just like one of those things, like it's a super unique name. I, you know, it still kind of fits who I am. And so, I was like, you know, when I started streaming, I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I, I kind of like this name. Like I, I've had it as my gamer tag for a long time at that point, and I didn't want to change it. So when I started streaming, that's kind of when it became like official. Like that's kind of how I was known. But outside of that, you know, nobody, none of my buddies called me by my, um, my stream name or my gamer tag name. You know, they just called me by my my real name, but. Now, as a streamer and stuff, and a, a business owner and everything, I am now known as Redneck Engineer. It is me. It's my alter ego. Not really. I'm not very much, really not much different uh, on stream or anything than I am in real life. This is kind of just, this is who you get. It's me. Just had breakfast for dinner? Oh, I'm jealous. I want breakfast for dinner. Okay. GPU is all connected up. And we can finish up some, what's it called? 
finish up on a little bit of cable management back here. Okay. I really wish I could stick this all the way over to the side, but it doesn't work. Pancakes, chorizo, and potatoes sound amazing. Ooh, I've never really had pancakes and chorizo and potatoes. Like chorizo and potatoes with eggs and all that. Like, all like I love that. It's a great, great breakfast. I would consume that every day of the week. I have never had that. Like, just ha like just casually toss in some potatoes too. I mean, come on, come on now. You're fat, we experiment weird stuff to eat together. <laughs> Is that why all the barbecue legends are fat? Because they just have to be like, I'm gonna try this. Kurt Tizzle, your daughter's favorite meal, always what she chooses. If you ask her what she wants, that or sushi. Mm. Sushi. I love sushi. Pancake sausage muffins. Jeez, you guys are making me hungry. I am, I have not eaten in quite some time. I'm starving. That's probably why, <laughs> probably why. It's probably why they're all well, well-sized men. I don't know. I don't know how to say that nicely. So I think I can follow your stream name. Do you stream somewhere? I'll stream on Twitch. Oh. I mean, I could follow you there, but I'm like literally never on Twitch. Don't think it would do you much good. I don't even think I'm logged in on most, uh, most of my devices. I want one more piece up there. She's seven, has loved sushi since she was three. Yeah, my daughter's the same way. I mean, it, you know, it, it definitely helps that like my wife and I both love sushi. Um, I, from time to time, will like make sushi at home. So, you know, she got exposed to it pretty early. That's looking pretty good. Oh, this front, this inside's all looking great though. I think we should tighten up, do a little zip tie on those. You used to work at Hibachi? Oh, jealous. Hibachi is delicious. Were you a cook there, Jump? My, uh,. My uncle was uh, a chef at a hibachi place for a while, too. 
is called Benny Shogas. As a dishwasher, it was nasty. <laughs> oh. My uncle was a chef there, so. Or a cook. I don't know, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. It's just the daddy daughter thing. My wife can't stand seafood. Really? See, my wife doesn't like seafood like nine times out of ten, but she loves sushi. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but that's. The life I have to live. Okay, so there we go. Front panel installed. Got to take this little bit off here around that CPU cooler to knock off Benihana. Yeah, ours was like a local, um, it was just like a local spot, like not even a chain of any sort, just a one location place. Where I grew up. Okay. Got the top filter back on. You guys can admire the cable management for a second there before I put this back on. Bottom corner, man. Being real dumb. On the signature PC, is it better to have the liquid cooler versus more fan? Um. I mean, the liquid cooler has fans on it, so. Yeah, uh, no? Yes? I mean, the liquid cooler is gonna be a little bit quieter and in general is gonna perform better and more consistently than an air cooler will. Um, there are some air coolers that are like really, really good and they can, can do more than like your average um, liquid cooler, but you know. The liquid cooler looks really nice too. Wait, wait, wait. New guy that would eat the leftover food off people's plates but from putting in the dishwasher? Ugh. Like actual sushi, sashimi, or like California roll. Um, I would do like, um, do you have W Riz? Bro, I'm way too old to be answering that question. Um, no, yeah, I'll usually, so we'll do like, we'll do some California rolls. Um, I'll do like simple stuff, like basically have like the ingredients of a kind of California roll with like spicy tuna, um, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that's like fairly simple. Um, cause I'm not, I'm not incredible at it. Yeah. That's, that's pretty nasty jump. That's, that's like super gross. Yeah. Someone asked about Riz. I'm sorry. I'm in my thirties. Uh, the word Riz is not in my vocabulary, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Okay, we're done with the build already, you guys. It's put together. That was fast. It only took us... It only took us an hour and 14 minutes. And five minutes of that was me, like, messing around. So, it's like an hour and 10 minutes to put this baby together. She's looking pretty spicy. Not bad for 1500 bucks, you know? Not bad. Okay. So, you guys know what to do. Well, most of you guys know what to do. I want to see some fire emojis in the chat. And then we'll fire this PC on up. Okay? I'm over on Kick as well, yes. Kick and YouTube and Facebook right now, Jump. Yes, I was born and raised in the States. Um, my grandmother is from Japan. And then um, my aunt was also born in Japan. Crazy to say 1500 is a budget build now. I know. Prices are crazy. I mean, I we can build a, a, but like a lower budget build than that. But this is like, play any game you want at 1080p. Um, 
with like no issues, so yeah. Right, he has time for another build. I know, I don't have another build ready though. Okay, I see some fire emojis. Let's do this. I'm gonna flip some, some lights off so you can get the, the full effect of this PC. Uh, did I flip the switch in the back? No. Nope. All right, we ready? Here, wait, 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 wait. We gotta get a little closer, we gotta get a little closer. Let's do this. Hold on, there should be some RGB fans. They'll get there, don't worry. They'll get there eventually, I think. connected the RGB fan things backwards. Entirely possible. Um, where's the stuff for the case? Is it in here? It's probably not. Specs on this build, it has a 12600K, in, Intel i5 12600K, uh, 32 gigs of Okay, not like that. The uh, GPU power cable was touching the fan. I don't know why it was coming up like that. Okay, um, let's check. Let's turn on some lights real quick. I can see. Um, so these are they're daisy chained. So yes, they can be connected backwards. So these, these fans are like, they have like a daisy chain for the RGB, and then there's only one connection for the RGB. But it's possible that the way I thought it was gonna be connected was wrong. Okay. So. Doesn't make sense that it would be, but let me check one thing. Hold on, I was gonna check the. Okay, there's no information in there. It's out in there. Leave it in here. The thermal take. I see gigabyte. I see UVGA. Don't see. Anything from Fantex. Oh, wait, there might be in that little tiny box. Yes. Is it m my bad? My computer runs with 48 gigs of RAM rather than 32? No. Do you have like a high end spec? Motherboard option. Oh, that's right. So, the motherboard thing connects here. This goes into... Yeah. Oh, they powered on now. I don't know, I didn't do anything different. I plugged it in the exact same way it was in there before. They powered on. So, who knows? Well, they make 24 gigabyte, like two, X, two times 24 gigabyte kits now. I assume that's what he's referring to. Or back in the day, they had 12 gigabyte kits that you could get and put four of them together. It's just not it's like, it's just not the like majority, you know? So the, the newer, the newest high end DDR5 kits are two times 24 gigs. So it's not gonna be too long before you start seeing 48 gigs as the standard for higher end stuff. <laughs> They're on now. 
Uh, sorry, Vicon. Yeah, so this the PC build here, it's a 12600K with a 3060 Ti. We've got CL36000 RAM, it's a 32 gig kit, a one terabyte SSD for storage. We've got a 750 watt power supply, gigabyte UDAX Z790 motherboard, and then this uh, EVGA CLC360, which is an older uh, AIO, but I had it in stock, and so I gave him a really good deal on it. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Look at that. So, like I said, there's no RGB up front, which is, you know, it's a little sad, but got a little RGB on the inside. It's a budget build. You know, you don't, there's always stuff you could upgrade later on, but it's a really, really good starting point for being $1,500, you know? If you already have 32 gigs of RAM, can you install 64 gigs along with the 32? Uh, you want, ideally you want, uh, no, Cake, okay, this is a customer bought this PC. You have an 11700KF, 3.6 gigahertz with 48 gigs of RAM. Oh, so you have four 12 gig kits then. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I mean, 64 is overkill for like, 99% of uses anyways, so I definitely would not mix and match. Okay, chat, um, I really need to use the little boys room. So I'm gonna leave you guys to it for just a minute here. I'm gonna run down the hallway, go potty, and then uh, we'll play some video games, okay? All right, just hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna be back. You know, feel free to drop some donos or gifted subs or whatever, and I'll freak out when I get back, okay? Okay. All right, I'm back. Dude, this mouse is dying. It's not even that old. So dumb. The, the stick should be the same size, same speed, and like exactly the same model. You do not want um, you do not want RAM sticks in your PC that are of like different sizes and stuff. Um, yeah, I would just like stick with like just put the 64 gig kit in and take the 32 out. There's no need for both.
be on the lookout for a package coming my, my way. Oh, shoot. If UPS doesn't lose it, for real. Thought the screen was frozen. No, I had to go potty, General. Appreciate you coming in, though. Do I like pizza? I like pizza. Uh, I can't eat most pizza. I can't have gluten or dairy, so. It's a sad, sad world that I live. Um, no mix and match. Sometimes the RAM won't be compatible slash stable. Yes, that's right. Nikki! Thank you so much for the freaking raid. I saw that you were on like super late. Well, late your time. Uh, you're here just in time for us to switch over from building this beautiful PC. I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna get some more water. Building this amazing PC. And now we're gonna play some video games. Cause yeah, I mean, why not, right? How was your stream? Welcome in, crazy girl. Thank you so much for coming in on that raid. I appreciate y'all. All right, Mark, we'll see you later. Appreciate you hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the gaming station. We'll get, uh, we'll get my other camera set up over here so we can see that. Uh, I will move all of my chat windows over so I can read chat. That would be a good idea. Right, that's a smart idea. We'll move all those over. And then we're gonna end the YouTube stream here and move forward with just Facebook and Kick. Because I like to keep YouTube just about PC building stuff. You know? Nikki, how was your stream? Tell me everything. Okay. Dude, why is this mouse so terrible? All right, I'm taking it out. I'm gonna go get my wired mouse. I think I'm gonna get rid of that thing. It's been nothing but trouble from like the day I got it. it wasn't that expensive, but for being like, 30 bucks or something in a wireless mouse. It just like does not work very well. It's from like Steel Series or something too. It's like a decent brand. I don't know why. No, I try to keep YouTube is like strictly for PC building stuff. I don't. Um, I don't do anything video game related on there. I try and keep the algorithm very, very focused on YouTube. Um, but Cake, feel free to hop over to Facebook or Kick uh, if you wanna watch some video games, man. BRB. No, you're not allowed to leave, Jump. You're not allowed to leave. Just got a package from Idaho. I wonder what it can be. Oh, did it just finally get there? Hmm, I don't know, man, I don't know. What could it be, what could it be? It's probably a bomb. You should just like throw it away. Okay. Let's get this camera moved over here. So you know you're not looking at an empty screen. There's me, me working on stuff. Gotta okay. get this camera moved from here. Over to the other spot. All right, Kick, we'll see you over there. Okay, I need to do one more thing. Ready to go. 
Oh, it's not that. This other guy. Okay. Let's see. We can do this. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, goodbye.